Madagascar, few places in the world are faced with as many challenges creating jobs for young people. In the last 50 years, the population has grown by 300 percent and it's expected to double again by 2030. As a result, each year more than 300,000 young people enter the workforce. A lot of them are children who went to school until 14 or 15 years of age. And now they are leaving school because their parents don't think it's important or can't afford to pay the fees. Young people in Madagascar need work opportunities, but they also need skills they can take to the market. That's why the IFAD-supported Prospere project began looking at the labor needs of small businesses in the country and how young people could help fill them. So, how can young people help small business development? Well, the basic idea of a project is for them to be trained by those who already have a small business or some income generating activity. Many of those business people who are training apprentices are small scale entrepreneurs like Madame Alexandrine, who has a workshop in the village of Alasora. All these youngsters have a different story. Some are married, some are single mothers, even though they are very young. I really wanted to help them, so I selected those most in need. 18-year-old Sandra was among them. I left school after third form because I had a heart condition, which also ruined my parents, because they had to pay the hospital fees. My friends told me about the Prosperer program. So far, 860 apprentices have been trained with the aim of reaching 8,000 in five years' time. The jobs they're learning range from pottery to agricultural tool making, from shopkeeping and shoemaking to farming and weaving. 54,000 small businesses will benefit, creating a labor force and future for many young people in the country.